I'm about to spend two nights in two of the weirdest places you can stay in Amsterdam. And my first hotel stay is going to be in that building there. These are one of a kind hotels which are located across Amsterdam. There's 28 of these which are the former residences of the city's bridge keepers who manage all the boat traffic by the busy canals and basically open and close the bridges each day. They've been designed into tiny one bedroom hotel suites that accommodates two people. And obviously there's no reception, so check-in is done via an app on my phone. And then the key card is available on an app on my phone. Let's go. Let's wait for the tram. I think the entrance is around here. So I'm using an app called FlexiPass. Apparently all I do is Hold it up to it, and it works. Door's a bit stiff though. Wow, this is so cozy. Uh, it's also very cold. I've put the heating on, but uh, it's taken a while to, uh, to warm up. One thing I've noticed, there is no carpet in here, so I don't think I'll be walking around without any shoes on. So the bed is the first thing that you see as you walk into the room and then of course you've got a lovely view of the canal and the lighting is very subtle in here you've got a light over the bed there which can be controlled by this dimmer switch but also there's a light over the fireplace but there's little lights by the bed which is very nice I love the tiny little window though, so you can have a look out to the side. Really random, they've got some cactuses. <laughs> In fact, actually they've got a lot of cactuses. I don't know whether you can hear that. The first thing you'll obviously notice is the noise level with the trams going over the bridge and the cars, they really do make a racket. So uh, depending on how late they go, I don't think I'm gonna get too much sleep in here. Soundproofing isn't the best, but it's not about that. It's about how cool this little place is so we have a little mini kitchen on the left hand side and this little seating area which is quite nice love the lamp very amsterdam couple of cushions what we've got here dear tim welcome to bridge house 308 newspapers and magazines our neighborhood guide and much more can be found on the sweet pad we wish you a very sweet stay handwritten it's nice isn't it and I take it this is, whoa, I feel the vibration when the tram goes over though. I'm gonna turn this on. Look at that, if we've got any problems, I can contact them, emergencies, the Wi-Fi code, neighborhood guide, house guide, house rules. Let's just quickly look at that. Welcome to Tiny Living. Each bridge house can accommodate a maximum of two people. Amsterdam is your playground, but no parties, drugs, or trading are permitted in any of the bridge houses. It's tempting, please do not jump into the canals. Frequently asked questions. So I have a couple of notepads, branding on point with the pens. I also have a room key, so I don't need to use my phone anymore. I can still use my phone if I want to. And also a very interesting insight into all the bridge houses in Amsterdam and uh, like I say there's over a good 20 of them that you can actually stay in do I get to keep this book it's 15 euros and it's mine also have a Bluetooth speaker but I guess in it's for that I've got a few books here classic old wooden board games as well you've got the people walking just out over the bridge and then of course you've got that amazing view over the canal it's funny, isn't it? I wonder how many people realise these are actually hotels because it doesn't really stay, say anything on the front of it. So let's do the bed test. Very comfy. Wow, you really sink into this bed. Firmish pillows. Dare I check the mattress? It's a white mattress, which is always good when you're checking for, for things. I'll have a good check on that later, but that looks... Uh, that looks all right to me a minute it's just the view you've got laying in bed look at that What's going on gotta better make sure that no one's walking past oh <laughs> i've got a bit of an awning at uh, no yeah a sun awning which goes very low just take that back up 
Oh, thankfully, I can start to feel the heat coming out now. So we have a little mini kitchen. Look at these cups. How Amsterdam is that? Some knives and forks, some cereal bowls, a couple more cups there. But check out the checkered sink. That is so cool. Some soap, I've got a couple of tea towels, coffee, and some tea bags. What on earth is this? Is that a, I have no idea what that is. Someone could tell me in the comments what that is. We do have a very, very tiny kettle. Oh dear, I think I'll give that a miss making tea in there. Look at that. Some cupboard space. Oh, I guess it's for the cleaning. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. All oh, right, it's not a mini bar, it's just an open fridge. But I could put some milk in there if I wanted to. However, I don't think I'm going to be making anything in that kettle. And how cool is this? It kind of looks like a fireplace. It's got like a, a mantelpiece on it with a another interesting cactus. A random card with nothing in it of a, a black cat. I think here. Wow, that is massive. I wasn't expecting that. Funky wallpaper. There's a safe. And the Wi-Fi router. Got some slippers. They're going to be handy to be walking on this cold floor. Ah, good choice. Good idea. I've got earplugs for the noise. I've got a little mini hair dryer. Some extra toilet roll. First aid kit. And an extra bit of security lighting if the electric goes off. Quite good at the thought of that. And then I can put my luggage on there if I want. But let's check out the bathroom, which is just here. This reminds me of a, um, a school, like my primary school cloakroom, into the toilets. There is another heater as you come in, and I've turned it on. Yeah, I can feel the heat coming out of that now. Another little dinky window. I have a feeling this was going to be no frills. Is there a light? How do I turn the light on? One of these? There you go. Straight away we've got the loo. We've got a heated towel rail which I definitely need to turn on because it's it's really cold in here. Couple of towels, huge big mirror and also a pretty decent shower. About four people sandwiched in here. Obviously being a wet room, we've got a squeegee there just to sort out the floor. I have a feeling though that this floor is going to be really cold on the feet. Complimentary shower gel. And the shower head looks pretty good as well. We've got action. The bridge has gone up. Apparently I'm supposed to stay in here when the bridge goes up for safety reasons. That is one long barge with a random car on the back. Before we move on to our next weird hotel in Amsterdam, just would like to say thank you for today's sponsor, Opera. Opera is fast and jam-packed with features, including its brand new AI tool, which is all absolutely free. Opera is faster, safer and smarter than most default browsers. What I love about it, it's fully customizable and also comes built with a free VPN and an ad blocker. It's also easy to import your data from other browsers. Now, if you're like me and you like everything in one place, it's great to select all your social media on a sidebar. And if you're like me and have too many tabs open, take control with Tab Island. It's quick and customizable to keep all your tabs in a smart place. The other thing I like about Opera is Lucid Mode. When you're watching your favourite videos online, you can sharpen your videos in one click. And also you can have the option for the video to be popped out while you work on other stuff. And using the highlight tooltip, you can get ARIA to get an overview or an explanation of the topic that you can see on the screen. And what's great about ARIA is you can ask it pretty much anything you want and it will come up with the answer. And I love the battery saving option, so if you're using too much time browsing, it can help save your battery. Download Opera now with the link in the description. Morning, so the weather in Amsterdam once again is pretty rubbish. Two days straight, I know, I'm gutted. Um, right, I'm on to the next hotel and this hotel is crazy. It's kind of outside in. Driving in Amsterdam is crazy. Not only do you have to look out for trams left, right and centre, but bikes are everywhere. In fact, actually, it is better to get around Amsterdam on a bike than it is by car. 
This is a 14 kilometer journey, which is gonna take me half an hour. This can't be it, can it? This is an industrial estate. I can see a caravan on top of a roof there. My sat nav says it's here. Yes, it is. Hmm, interesting, odd place to stay. Doesn't actually look open. Love the reception desk. So my camper is somewhere around here. I guess I've got to find it, but this is crazy. There are literally camper vans everywhere. And what's great is that a lot of people have not yet checked in, so we can um, have a look at some of these. I'm in a classic, but you can get some really old retro ones. Got to have a quick look in some of these. God, I remember these from when my grandparents used to have a caravan. Even the curtains is the same. So each of them have a bed. So there's more caravans down there. And I've just noticed these are beach huts. Now I've stayed in a beach hut recently. Let's see how these compare. They've got, f is it fake? No, it's real, real sand. These remind me of the old Pontins days with the old chalets. Anyone holiday parking in the UK will remember these. How are they, they how do they compare? Let's see what next door is like. I think they're all the same. Yeah, they are. These are so nice. Now obviously everybody's all in the same room, so come 11 o'clock, it's a quiet zone, so no one can do any talking apparently. It's gonna all be quiet and that's the time when you're supposed to go to bed. But if you love retro caravans, I mean, this is like an, an absolute dream. There are just so many of them. Wow, check this out. They all have seating outside as well. A mushroom caravan, have you ever seen anything like it? See, back then caravans were a lot simpler than they are now, but they had everything you wanted, including a little oven. There used to be a hob, I think, underneath here. I feel like I've gone literally back in time to the 70s. I remember these used to have everything that you wanted in them, though. They might have been small, but you got a bed and you got what used to be a, a cooker, I think. So all these are bookable but with different prices for depending on which kind of caravan you go for, a classic, a retro. It's great that there's nobody in them at the minute, so I can have a bit of a nose. VW Beetle camper van. I think it's a VW Beetle. So my caravan comes with its own locker, which is number 12, so I can put my stuff in here with my room key. So I could put my stuff in there if I don't want to keep it in my caravan. And then we come to my caravan here. I wonder if you can guess which one it is. No, it's not the caravan of fame. Although that's quite nice because it's got a chandelier in it. This is my caravan. <laughs> this is what I'm going to be staying in tonight. There's no one else around here at the moment, but I do have my very own outside area so I can sit and enjoy the inside, not outside. But how big do you think this is? Does it have a bathroom? No. Does it have a bed? Yes. What else does it have? Let's go and check it out. I'm feeling this is one of the basic bands. So as I step in, we have, I guess my lot of paint. Looks like there's a lot of painting being done in here. We have a very simple bed. And I guess these are a given earplugs. Some people like the sounds of indoor camping, but if you prefer the sounds of silence, you can use these complimentary earbuds. Sweet dreams. So I've got a couple of towels here. I have a picture, a couple of coat pegs. Uh, whoa, storage, a stool. I do have a couple of plug sockets down there to charge my phone. And of course, a very big cozy bed. You can tell these have been painted recently, but the whole van moves, obviously, as soon as you turn over. 
So luckily I'm just in here myself tonight. But you might be asking, well, where do you go to have a shower or wash up or get a drink? Let me show you. There's drinks, there's beer. And I guess it's a bit of a, a trust thing because you take what you want and then you put a mark on this board. So I guess they have to trust us that we're gonna take the food or drink and put it on the board. They've got a microwave, some water. And if you buy anything from outside, there is a fridge here. And then you just write your room number. It's like living in a dorm basically, or a shared flat. And you basically put, this is my food, don't take it. The toilet is in here and you do have your separate showers. Just like the real camping experience. You can probably get a good three people in here. Ooh. Interesting. Heineken on tap. Although I'm not much of a beer drinker. Nice space. I think the reason why a lot of people like it here is that it is like stepping back in time. I mean, even coming into the VIP room, straight living room, I mean, this leather couch has definitely seen some action in its time. Look how warm it is. And just like the old days, there's no TV either. I wonder if they actually turn the lights off, but let me close the curtains and get ready for bed. Okay, all right, so it's half past 10. Hopefully the music will go off in a minute. Um, actually, it's not that busy in here tonight. I hope no one else snores, because I bet you'll be able to hear your neighbors. I hope I don't snore and wake other people up. A little cozy night light. Very strange. Anyway, I'll tell you how it goes in the morning. No, no. Morning. Just thought I'd get myself a nice cup of tea. Well, I tell you what, it's, um, it's, been, it's been raining in the night and the weirdest thing is, is that the rain has been falling on this kind of sheet metal roof, which kind of gives the feeling of it's actually raining on your caravan, which is crazy. I don't know whether that was intentional or not, I don't know. So breakfast, you can get these little breakfast boxes, breakfast bags that cost about 12 euros that have orange juice and a croissant in them, but I decided just to go for a cup of tea. By the way, I haven't forgotten to mark it as well. And then I set on my bill as I leave. I've got to be quiet because it's still quite early. There are a few people up. It's around about quarter to nine now. Do you know what? This is such a great experience for people who love camping but don't want to camp outside. And this was incredibly cosy as well. I thought the caravan would move quite a lot as I rolled around in bed, but it didn't. The only embarrassing thing was is that I went to go to the toilet about three in the morning. And as I poked my head out of the caravan, I couldn't see anyone else around. So I quickly ran downstairs in my pants. Worst mistake ever as I walked in there was two people in there wasn't there. I got out of there very quickly. I know it's been a little bit of a different video. I hope you liked it. Do tell me in the comments. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.